easier than a helicopter. What? Anything. Hey, this is Tamara, signing on with some more of Mad World. Last time we, um, did some cooking in the bistro and fought Shogun. And now we are going to the Sumo Arena to fight Yokozuna. All sumo wrestler. Uh, uh, sorry, I'm tired. All sumo wrestlers vie to be the best. The Yoku, the Yokozuna. But to win, you must fight. One man is taking up the call to be champion. He's torn tigers in two and broken bears' backs. Now he waits for you. Okay. Bring it on. Bring it on, big guy. I've got no, no drink. Moving on. Here comes Jack as he walks in amongst all those beautiful flowers. Nothing says I'm gonna rip your fucking head off like making an entrance to a bunch of flowers. It's classy. And here comes the big boss. That waterfall is getting him the closest thing to a shower he's had in months. Your best shot, boy. All right, here we go. Sumo Rita. Jack versus Yokozuna. Round one. This should be fun. Oh yeah, that's right. Okay, I'm remembering how this boss fight works. That. Little known fact. Sumo wrestlers always make that stamping motion with their feet before a fight. Thank you, Captain Useless Information. I, I thought it was interesting. That big. Maybe he's on I knew it, but I, it's I nevertheless interesting. I think I am. Am I? Power through. That's what I call slap happy. Jack doesn't look too happy. I should maybe back off a little bit. I used to smoke dust before a game. I never seem to help. Stay off the drugs, kids. Drink booze like I do. Uh -huh. Looks like Jack is a pint low. Yeah, I'm going to die. Man, I want ten chainsaws against oh. that uh -huh. monster. Well, Jack's just got the one, and he has to use it wisely. <laughs> He's just standing there taking it. You what? gotta be pushy to win against this guy. That was weak. I know, but Jack is strong. <laughs> if Jack doesn't stop dragging his ass, he's gonna get his ass kicked. Round two, make human stew. Whoop. Yeah, just getting down to so far. Ah. Maybe he's on drugs. I know I am. At least I think I am. Am I? Got the drugs? That sumo bitch slap can take the guy's head off. You know what would have been easier than a helicopter? What? Anything. Oh, got nunchuck. Oh, Come on. How did Jack miss a target that big? Maybe he's on drugs. I know I am. At least I think I am. Am I? Got the drugs? He must be on drugs because he's been asked that question multiple times already. Is that why you piss out of a tube? One of the reasons. Whoops, wrong direction. Because he Maybe moves. I think he's down to the peg we need to do the next um, thing on him. I, I don't know what I was thinking. I'm tired. I'm not paying too much attention. Nice, Jack. Push that fucker out of the ring and onto something sharp. Or electrified. Or otherwise dangerous. Shogun is a trademark of the And this is the otherwise dangerous what the thing. Fuck does that mean? I don't know. Some guy paid me to say it. How did Jack miss a target that big? Maybe Stop rubbing it in. I know I am. At least I think I am. Gotcha. Got the drugs? That's what happened. 
Another quick one. That's usually what the case is with these third air, third um, boss battles in an area. You gotta be pushy to win against this guy. That was me. I know, but Jack is strong. I think Jack's pretty much shot his load. Speaking of which, nah, never mind. That one was too damn easy. Much like Howard. Yay! Dun 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 dun. All right, that was a boss battle, and that'll be the end of the episode. I think we have an art cut scene though. Another day, more bodies. Hey, I just saved your ass. How about pointing that thing someplace else, huh? Guns make me nervous. I'm sorry. Thank you. You can thank me by getting up and coming over here. Don't worry. If I was gonna kill you, I'd do it right out here. Look, I'm not a contestant. But if you don't hurry up, I am gonna shoot you. Wait, no, I I'm sorry. I'll go with you. My name's Leo. Leo Falmont. I'm it in sounds my like James Arnold Taylor, but I know it's not. ER, or I was, I guess. Thanks again. So what's your excuse? What? Why are you still alive? Alive? I... <sighs> they sprayed this whole damn place with a virus. If you're not a contestant, why didn't you get sick? Why the hell are you still alive? <coughs> you crushed my windpipe. <laughs> now I can't speak and tell you what happened. It all happened so fast. The island was cut off before we knew what was going on. Okay, voice Danny Cooksey, and I can't pull up his filmography right now, but I know I've heard him before. Name's familiar, I just can't think of what exactly off the top of, off the top of my head. Ladies and gentlemen, beloved citizens of Varagon City, lend me your ears. No! We have cut off all road and rail access to and from Jefferson Island. Why? No one enters, no one leaves. We have also disabled your cellular devices, phones, and all internet connections. All satellite signals from the island will be jammed. You are our captive audience. Justice is an idea the weak cling to to legitimize their drab, peaceful existence. True justice can only be found when lives are at stake, especially one's own. I challenge you to seize the day. Redefine justice in your own terms. Let's in totally begin not illegal terms. Begin. To those of you still wondering, this is a game of survival. Might Crafting and all, right. it, it sucks it is the all only around. Now nah, there's some good your examples. Only chance if you wish to live through this. To those who do survive, you will not only win the right to live, but a substantial financial reward to the tune of one hundred million dollars. To participate in this game, you need only pick up a weapon, a pipe, a bat, a knife, anything will do. Then you need to kill someone. Family members and neighbors are a convenient place to begin. Start with the uh, old. Yes, They're slow. <laughs> I'm sorry. We've dispersed a biological agent, a virus, across Jefferson Island. Everyone infected, which is all of you, will die within 24 hours. If you care to live longer than 24 hours, all you need do is indicate your willingness to participate in our game. Kill anyone, and you will be given a vaccine. We can't verify that very well, but hey, we'll wing it. This whole project seems to be winged. Oh, and I suggest you act quickly. The virus incubation period varies by person. Some may suffer adverse effects much sooner than others. Ah. Case in point. Get back! He's hemorrhaging! Leo! Game over.
But the game's just beginning. So who'd you kill, Doc? A patient? Damn it! I didn't kill anybody! <sighs> I didn't develop symptoms because I took the vaccine they made. And I didn't kill anyone to get it. I stole it from someone who had. You? The virus got him before he was able to take it. <laughs> Your lucky day, isn't it? Oh yeah, because this whole other situation is good. Born in 1993 in Ausrain Harmonia. Went to public high school, majored in medicine at Berrigan State. Top of his class. The rest of his story checks out. So, <laughs> guess we trust the doc. Who are you talking to? If you're not a contestant, who are you? Are you with some kind of rescue squad? There's going to be a rescue, right? Uh, why haven't they sent anyone yet? Because <laughs> everyone's too busy running around with their heads up their asses to do anything. Sorry, but the cavalry ain't coming. The cavalry is coming. It's going to be a really weird Spice situation. Are jammed. All they know on the outside is that a terrorist group's taken over. Terrorists with lots of firepower and the balls to use it. So we're hostages. Targets, more like it. If I were you, I'd go find myself a good hole to hide in. What? You're not gonna get me out of here? Sorry, kid. I've got things to take care of. I don't help people. I kill them. The fact I have a chainsaw arm should make that pretty clear. Oops. I'll just, just oop, come on. Try to pick up the Wii remote. It's been a little. Just let it set for a while. Here we go. And on to the next area the Mad Castle. This is where it gets a really fun. So, yeah, next time we will go to the Mad Castle and take on the Shamans. Oh, I love these levels. Alright, so until next time, thank you for watching, hope you enjoyed, like and subscribe and all that. This is Tamara, signing off.